Okay, the dilemma. I've had this ever since I've had this. It didn't take me about a, a day before I realized I need to have some kind of a method to collect the chips off of that planer. And this actually does a good job of collecting them. It's just that uh, if this lid isn't entirely sealed up, it will spew some out the sides. And I've thought about, okay, the footprint. Yes, you notice I'm in a small shop. I thought about the footprint. Um, I looked at some little ones, and when they're all done and said, they'll take as much room as this one. And so what I'm going to do is make a lid that has a frame that's attached to this so that I can clamp it down and seal it tight. It'll come off there, and then it'll have a lid that sits on top for a um, little table, a work surface, so I can get some use out of it. But right now I've got to take this off and empty it because it's full of uh, stuff because I've been, you know, using that. So anyway, and this thing's right here is just a matter of undoing these all the way around it. And I've tried to fix it a couple times, but you go around it and these just overlapped the, the ends of it. I didn't want to go around with a, anything that would cause it to be too hard to get undone, which that's not extremely hard except you know it's it's a uh, you know you just basically swing it around and get them little guys out of the way every time I look at it I think well that's not that hard and but yet it's a you know it's not as easy as hitting a snap and pulling it off there so you know there's that and let me put that against the side right here so there that is there and that works okay, but it's not what I want. So what I'm going to do is come up with a seal that is attached to the, the trash can here. That goes around here. A seal that's, you know, that's actually attached to the, to the can that I can clamp down to. So um, to find something that's good and uniform, that might be a little bit of a trick. But, you know, I've got this seal. This has lasted pretty good, but it's not very thick. And, you know, I, I probably would go with a garage door uh, setup. But anyway, all this does is comes in from the planer, shoots down the corner, does some swirling around. This is the return air that diffuses it. And then some of it comes out here that's not near as uh, good as a dust deputy. But then again, you know... Um, by the time I got done buying all these parts and things, I could have had a dust deputy in there. So there you go. But this works. So I'll probably stay with it and the platform. So let me do some figuring on it and figure out a way to come up with something that will sit down on here and give me a clamping ability. You go all the way around it. It needs to come out here so that when it's shut, this allows the lid to seal around it. So it needs to be a little bit wider than the edge of this to get it to seal up. And then the clamping part of it will clamp down. Now you say, well, you can use these clamps, right? Use 12 or 14 of them. Yeah, you can. They're $26 a pair. Pretty soon I'd have $200 in clamps sitting around there holding this thing down. So, you know, that's not really what I'm after. So, anyway, I'm going to go dump this out and then uh, do some ciphering on it. So, All right, I just took those screws out, both sides, took the handle off of the bag, and while I was out dumping, I had a very good idea, basically to do away with that lid. I just built me a plywood lid that sat down on top of it that uh, would have the, the ability to hasp. That one's just too flexible, and uh, my seam is... Uh, you know, my tape's coming off, so I've got to redo that. So this is a good time to do that. Let me go ahead and clean this all off and get it a good seal. And then I'm going to get a piece of plywood out. Well, I was thinking use particle board or go down here and buy a nice piece of $40 to $50 piece of plywood. And uh, to do that with, or what should I do it with? Well, I just so happen to have this that came out of my 
an old wardrobe that I took apart. And it's a, basically a, a laminated and it's uh, poplar plywood. And uh, anyway, I'm going to rip it down and glue it back together and make a, a lid for this. And then it has this nice heavy duty finish on it which is a laminate but uh, it, will, it will make a nice cover Very, I've used the same stuff over here on this router table so working good let me get that glued up cut down okay seems like all I've done is glue up today um, but that's alright I am uh, in the process again of making this uh, lid for this I've removed the plastic one just because I was tired of the seal leaking getting mess all over my shop and um, anyway, this is an old piece of furniture that my grandparents had. It was all marred up and had scratches all over it, so it wasn't really fixable to veneer uh, overlaid on top of poplar. So it just, you know, some of it was really deep. And anyway, so it was it's, it was quality. I mean, it's, it's look at that dovetail joints, and uh, that's a quality piece of furniture for sure. I'm going to glue it up and uh, let's get that process going here. Parts for this inside uh, clamping part of this uh, dumpster. I'm going to make it on uh, some quarter inch or this three quarter inch plywood. These are cutouts from uh, I believe the kayak thing. So that's all glued up nice. I'll let that cure out for about an hour and then uh, take it apart and take the Clean up the bottom side of it, and we'll be ready to go. This method of securing this to this pipe has worked real good. All I did is just did a typical cinch bag deal with one of them little push button deals to draw it up cinch, and then I slide it over that top of this little piece of silicone. And uh, let me get that done. Okay, and then once that's done, I just take a piece of Velcro, it goes totally around it, and strap it up, and that pretty well keeps it on there. It doesn't come off there, nurse. A lot of force comes out of that thing right over there. And she sealed up. All right. All right. Put those pieces together just uh, from the cutouts. Of course, I just grabbed the pieces back onto them that was there. And put a little, then I put a piece of uh, quarter inch plywood with glue on it and I glued the joints. This will glue on the back of that piece over there once it's cut out. And that will be the plug. That will go on there so it'll be a plug down and a plug over and then uh, uh, that may be enough to do the trick i don't know we'll see and um, you know i may just need to put a weight on top of it. i don't know something simple like that uh, sometimes that's all it takes so we'll see what we got going on and we'll let that dry up and then we'll glue that piece onto this piece and of course this doesn't make this is just the top top part if i really wanted to be pretty i could go around and you know make it lighten it up just a little bit but in this case plywood is uh, probably a little bit better but anyway that's just you know marking it out with a pencil from underneath and making it fit and, and then when i got my two sides then i just did my my other two in between sizes and just was tacked them on in there with the pin dollar and that acted as a little glue, real quick glue or clamp. And then we'll uh, get that in there. So that's going to town. Should have this project licked out here in a little bit. So there you have it. Yeah, all right, I don't like to put anything to waste. So I decided to put my knobs and my these back together. And what I'm coming up with this is this will slide up the side here. I'm going to turn this upside down because I don't have a hole in it. They'll slide up inside that pocket, three quarters of an inch, and then they'll come through here and they'll draw a hole. I'm going to draw this up so I'll be able to drill it for the uh, lid and we'll have that out like that. So that's kind of what I've got doing. I think I'll recess the knobs down in the top of that over there. That's full inch so I was thinking about maybe re-sock re, uh, the knobs down in there and uh, I don't know 
I could probably drop them down to about three eighths. So let's see. Maybe not. All right. Those work good. Basically, I just uh, turned down the mother knobs that was in there and repurpose the, these they just snap up in there like that pretty much stay in there and i'll probably put a dab of glue in there to hold them in there so that they stay there and then the top part will be held in by knobs of course it gets glued to this thing here and we'll find out if i need a gasket on there or not we may so if we do that's fine anyway there they are and they just had little uh, trusses in there that fit in there so I just cut it just basically cut them to fit in there so that worked out really well and the set up and that should be getting set up over there so I can go to cutting on it and then we'll have this project done there we go. My hardware left over. I made these knobs about four years ago. Most of them held up pretty good. I do have one knob that doesn't. I do have one knob that's missing, so I don't know what happened to it. But we clean the spacers and all. So there we go there. I had to find that knob and put it back to work. So, and of course all them were, were just, they were cut out on the CNC and the hex nuts were milled. And then I just shot a little bit of uh, super glue on them. And for the biggest part, they did pretty good. They, they lasted quite a while. Uh, the only ones that I had any trouble with was the ones that were, I put in backwards that they were, had popped the nut up. So as long as the nut was, pressure was down and it was holding, then it was good. But they kind of work out a little bit, so I guess an easy way of fixing that would be to put two knobs together like that and that, wouldn't it? So, lock them in. Alright, there we go. Alright, took the corners off of it, did a little sanding. There's my four, my six uh, bolts into the sides. And the little plywood brackets are down inside there, you can't really see them. But they're up in there. There you go. See that? There's one over there as well. So that worked good. And then I had glued that other plate in there. I put uh, fast glue and then uh, that. So hopefully it's hung on there. We'll find out. <laughs> Maybe hang it down in there half inch. I don't know. Because I didn't tack it and then pull it off. Got lazy. Anyway. But it's got six screws in it, and I think that are probably pulled it all up anyway. A little bit more than six, eight screws, looks like. And it's a good project. I'll going to put either another top on top of this and recess these down in it. Um, not real sure. I, I'm. Uh, not wanting to make it too heavy, but I I want it heavy enough to where it doesn't, doesn't come out. And I want I would like to have this as a work surface that I can put stuff on without skinning it up. So I was wanting something a little bit thicker than these. I may cut these down and put just a three a three quarter inch piece on there. So I don't know. Verdict's still out on that. I may just. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, probably the easiest thing to do is just overlay it with a with a cover. You easily take something and just cut some big holes in there, and it just set over the top of them with the with that off there. And then when I need to pull it off, I can pull that part off and pull the other part off. So, but the main thing is that it won't leak. So, uh, she's pretty tight. So, hopefully, hopefully she's not going to leak. Even, you know, with no gaskets on her, just the plywood. So, we'll find out.
anyway there we go all right that looks better just trim them off flush the bolts down in the corner so they can get a little bit off of there anyway i think i'll leave that on there that give me some stops for stuff to stay put anyway there they are that's the the unit works good we'll try it make sure it seals up